this is my 1991 Mercury Capri. It is old, it is slow, and it is ugly. Let me take you on a tour of it. The first quirk we're going to discuss is this awful noise that it makes when the door is open. Because apparently back in 1991, they did not know how to make a good sounding door chime. However, if we go to the ACC position, it makes this noise which would be really suitable any door sound if you ask me so that's the first quirk the next quirk we're going to discuss is the window situation see this has power mirrors or power windows which if you disable that you can still use the driver's window and you can still use the passenger's window, but the passenger cannot use their window. The problem with that is this is a two-seat car, and unless you really hate your passenger, there is no reason for that. That is the second quirk. The third quirk has to do with the front end look. It's a bit excess. That is my hand for scale. That front bumper is a bit crazy when it comes to the front end. However, you do have these gorgeous pop-up headlights, which we all know are the best feature of any car. Now let's discuss turn signals. These white plastic covers are the turn signals. Take a look. But yet they're orange on the inside, which is strange. Another feature is this red hardtop, which I got from a different car, because the soft top tends to get ruined in the winter, and it is currently winter, so that's that. Another thing this car has is power door locks, but only on the driver's side. Watch this. They're locked. They're unlocked. But if you do the same thing on the passenger side, only the passenger one locks, and only the passenger one unlocks. Very strange. Now let's talk engine. This car has the 100 horsepower, 1.6 liter, dual overhead cam, 16 valve engine that came in most base model Capris, as in all base model Capris. You could upgrade this engine when you got the XR2 package, which gave this a turbo which gave it 132 blistering horsepower. This has 100. It is slow. The next quirk we're going to discuss is this latch mechanism, which works via a key. You turn this key, which also is the same key for the trunk. You twist that, and then if you pull this lever, the convertible top cover will come undone. Currently, because the hard top is on, I can't do that this is the cover. However, if I pull this lever, when I pull this seat back, or at least fold it back and pull this, this back part unlatches, revealing a storage base. The problem is the storage base is taken up by the convertible top when it's down, especially when your hard top's up, which would reveal a pass-through, actually, on the other side which we'll go to next. Here is the storage pass-through pass that I talked to earlier. There's a button there, which I think someone else did, but it could be factory. It's a Velcro, and there you can see the convertible top again, which, as I said before, I cannot get to because the uh, hard top is on. You may have noticed throughout this review when I got to the steering wheel, that the left hand horn button and the right hand horn button are the same button. How cheap is that? And of course you can't review a small Econo box from the 90s without mentioning the pathetic horns that they always have. It sounds really strange. Another thing this car has is this white button white right here 
which releases the key. You can't twist the key from the run position to the off position without first pushing this button and holding it while twisting the key. You don't have to push it when turning the key from off to run, though. That is very strange. And of course, the last quirk of this car is the puny exhaust sound that it makes as a little midget car. And here's a short little driving clip that I can show you because I am not of legal driving age yet. And although this is a stick and I know how to drive it, I can only long for the days where I can actually drive this thing legitimately. So that was my review of the 1991 Mercury Capri. Well, it may be slow. Maybe ugly. It's definitely weird. I love this car. <laughs> and it actually handles really well. But... Thank you for watching this review, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and share with your friends. As always, I'm out.